Hello, welcome everyone. This is Sam. I am very happy to see you again to this video. In this video tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to create a simple music player in Action Script 3.0. Okay, create a new Action Script 3.0 file and uh, change the document size 200 by 200. change the background color mm. you can give any color it's up to you okay. Okay. Oh. okay you can set any color okay rename the layer one and two stuff okay for the music player I'm going to create play button and pass button and stop button okay you just select rectangle tool and in rectangle options you just give uh, 10 so the rounded rectangle you just draw the rounded rectangle okay change some color okay I black is okay okay now copy this one and paste it here copy this one and paste it here okay i forgot to say just uh, press the uh, alt key in your keyboard and drag the shape okay otherwise you can just uh, select the shape ctrl c ctrl v you can use any methods okay first select this one right click on it and uh, convert to symbol otherwise you can uh, press f8 on your keyboard you can convert uh, convert the shape into symbol okay give play button this is just for our identification okay play button this one is uh, pause button this below is our stop button okay double click on the play button okay now just uh, press f6 on your keyboard okay create a uh, keyframe okay now select the rectangle tool in rectangle tool select the polygonal tool okay and select options change the number of sides from 5 to 3 okay draw the shape like this and select this one and change the color to white or some other color it's up to you it's totally up to you okay uh, now you just <coughs> go to free transform 2 and select uh, this one otherwise you can uh, press Q on your keyboard and select this one okay by pressing the shift key rotate this one okay now place it on the center of the button it seems to be okay. okay. It's perfectly okay. It's perfectly placed center. Okay. Now uh, press on. Uh, you press F6 on your keyboard. Okay. Select the over and change the color of the play button into some other light color. Okay. Now go go to the back scene one. Now check the movie by pressing control plus enter. Okay. Okay. Whenever the mouse is hovering on the keyboard, the, the play button is showing some effects. Okay. Do the same thing for the remaining two buttons. Okay. F6, F6, F6. New layer. Okay. Select rectangle tool. Okay, we remove remove the rounded rectangle options. Okay. White color. Okay. Draw a rectangle like this and copy and paste. Okay. Now place it on the center of the button. Okay. Now press 
F6, F6, F6. Select the oval and change the color. Okay. Do the same thing for the stop button also. F6, F6, F6. New layer. F6 is just creating a new keyframe. Okay. I'm doing fast. Stop button. Okay. Sorry. F6. Select over. And uh, change the color. Okay. Now our uh, designing part is over. Okay. Now create a new layer and uh, give it the name AS 3.0. Okay. Right click on the layer and select actions. Okay, this is our coding window. Okay. First, uh, I'm going to create a sound uh, object. So the sound object is that is the sound class is used to load the music files and it is used to play the music files okay so to create a sound object we have s class name is sound i'm creating new object for the class okay now add the event listener for the three buttons okay before that you set the instance name btn play by using these instance name only we are going to add some code to these buttons ok this is button play button uh, btn pause btn stop ok put the code btn play dot add event listener This is mouse even and in mouse even this is click. Okay. Okay, this is my function. Play song is my function. Okay. Now I'm writing the definition for the play song function. Okay, the event is mouse event. The kind of is void. just write s dot play okay, before that we we have to select the music file so first uh, save the project okay and my desktop slash tutorials okay simple music play i stored that file okay before um playing the file we have to load a uh, particular uh, music file so for that you just write s dot load new url request inside this you have to give the path of the file okay now i'm going to okay in the same folder i am in songs folder so I'm just copying the name of the file. Okay. So songs the file name dot mp3. Okay. Now compile the movie by pressing Ctrl plus Enter. Press the button play. Okay, the music is playing now. Okay, to stop, we have to add the event listener. The event is same, mouse event dot click. Stop song. Okay, now write the definition for the stop song the event is most event the type is void 
okay uh, you can't uh, write like s yes, dot stop okay there is no function like that you just check check by pressing under the center okay it will show the error because there is no function called stop so to stop the um, song or to pass the song we have to use sound channel class so i'm creating object for the sound channel class okay okay just i'm creating a new object for the sound channel so you just assign the uh, yes dot play to c okay now it's over now write the code instead of s dot stop you just write c dot stop okay now compile the movie by pressing control to center stop okay is working fine so our next part is pause button button pause dot add event listener this is also mouse event pause song okay to pass the song we need the position of the song currently playing okay so one minute let me finish this okay so i need uh, the position of the song we can it currently playing so create a new variable to store the position us okay int equal to zero just i'm initializing zero okay when i press the pause button the position of the uh, music file current music file will be stored in the position okay for that you just write pos equal to uh, c dot position so i get the current position of the song after that you just stop the music so when you play the uh, file you just mention here s yes dot play of pos position okay in stop song you just uh, mention pos equal to 0 so so that the song will be started from the first when you enter uh, when you stop the song okay now check the movie by pressing control press enter okay stop play and stop check play and stop okay both are working fine but uh, i don't need two buttons play and pause so i want in a single button okay so for you just uh, um, drag the button now select the pause button and right click on it arrange sim backward okay and now go to the code add a function toggle buttons this is my user defined this is my function okay this user defined function okay. in inside this function you just write this code swap children btn play btn uh, pause so it will enable the enable the toggle option okay so now call the function inside the play button toggle buttons okay this is the name of the function okay call the function in pause song call the function in stop song This is very okay, very fine. So this is all creating a simple music player in Action Script 3.0. Okay, uh, I'm going to demonstrate um, 
how to create sound control for the music player and pan control and uh, how to show the track and album and artist so all the details so i'm going to do that in the next video so don't forget to watch the video thanks for watching this video thank you